Hello, this is Amy Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you um, how to create and maintain the Microsoft uh, Learning Path. Um, here you can see actually uh, all of the information and how to set it up. If I go here, I, there's also instructions how to do it. I'll add it in the show notes. In general, the idea is that actually you can set up a site that is um, updated and maintained centrally by Microsoft. And then you don't need to, each time there's an update to update it, but actually you can do uh, some customizing and or ch changing things that will be specifically for you. So how do we do it? First of all, we will go to the Google and actually look for the lookbook. The lookbook is a, a place where you have all kinds of templates where you can run and uh, s set uh, sites on your tenant. So in order to do this, you need to be a, a global admin or at least a um, SharePoint admin. So here under, we will look for, let's go for the lookbook and we will go under solutions we can find a Microsoft 365 learning. Here you can see the information and the resource. You can read it. You must be a tenant admin for this. Um, so let's add it to your tenant. Now, um, if it's a new site or a new tenant, then actually uh, you might need to create an app catalog. Here you can set the, the mail of the user that will receive a mail once the site is created. And we can uh, define the name. Let's keep it like M365 Learning Path. And we will click provision. So it will validate. It says this provided site is already in use. So currently template cannot be provided. Please uh, provide a different URL. So let's just change it. I will click provide. And usually you should only have one for each tenant. Okay, uh, I just need to confirm this. And uh, it will take some time until it's ready. So I'll pause the video. Now, uh, on a new tenant, actually, I got a a message that uh, my app catalog was not created. So in order to set it up, uh, what I did was I went to the admin center and under the SharePoint, I will choose the SharePoint. And under SharePoint, I chose uh, content services, sorry, more features. I have here the app. Once I open this, it actually, uh, in my case, this app catalog exists, but uh, if not, it will create one. And actually, um, here you see the modern way. If I click on the classic, this is how it looks uh, differently. So once everything is ready, then actually um, I will go to see uh, how it looks. So this is how it looks. And actually uh, you see we have a communication site where we have uh, some menus. So if I cl click here on training, I will see all of the apps that, uh, that Microsoft uh, provides. For instance, if we choose SharePoint, it will give me all of the um, <coughs> information for SharePoint. If I click on this, it will give me some information, some videos and stuff. Okay, but what happens actually if, for instance, uh, I don't want to, to show some of these applications. So for instance, I can take, um, let's say I don't work with with Sway. So what I can do is actually, I can go to this uh, gear icon and actually I can on the left scroll
scroll to sway and I can let's go up I can actually if you can see here I can um, decide to hide one of these specific topics or I can hide all of the page by clicking on this um, if I uh, go back now I will so I should not see sway there anymore we don't see it uh, but what we can do actually is um, let's click again here we can add the content of ourselves let's say we do want sway but we don't want all of the topics so I will come here and uh, do this I will hide only the quick start but I, I can click this plus button that will I, I actually can create my own content so let's call it sway one and this is a test I can choose the technology I can choose sway and here it marked automatically sway the level can be beginners or intermediate or advanced and I just press save the de details once I did this I can add here some added assets assets is actually the the page the information so if I click here I can say a uh, start sway and technology I can choose uh, sway and I can either uh, put a link for to a page that I have or I can create a new link so it will add this uh, page I can save it and actually if you see here it created this if I go back this way then I will see I have you see this link is something I created it if I click on it actually I now can go to the site content or site pages yeah and I can edit the page so I'll go to site pages and I will ah, interesting all of these uh, languages so I have here start sway I can edit it and add uh, a video for instance or some text I can take here um, text and say this is sway and uh, I can add an image here we go I can search the web for sway here we go and uh, you understand the concept so I published it here and if I go back to the topic of sway that's here we have it and we will have this one that we added uh, manually which shows us uh, this page so uh, in general this this is a place where Microsoft provides all of the information you can uh, decide what to hide what to change but uh, with all of the changes that we have then uh, sometimes it's better to to give uh, Microsoft to maintain it um, of course here you can uh, customize and change the links if you have here some ask questions you can refer it to to your service ticket system or anything else so hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode goodbye